Okay, it's that time of year again. It's the Sephora savings event. And this is the time of year where I go and I restock on all my core essential products. Products that I keep in my pro kit, products that I cannot live without for me personally. This is the time where I go and I stock up and I pick up things that I run out of throughout the year anyway and I save money on them. This also happens to be what I think is absolutely worth your pennies in terms of what to buy at Sephora during the savings event. These are the items that I highly recommend and never changes. Let's get right into it. Now let's start strong with a primer that I highly recommend. I recommend this for anyone who wants their makeup to look smooth and last all day, but also specifically to photograph well and to get a nice smoothing, blurring look to your skin. If you have texture or large pores or even just oily skin or even just skin in general and you want to just photograph even more lovely, this is the primer for you. I am gonna be running through these products pretty quickly because they're products that are very familiar to my channel, they're products I talk about on a regular basis, so I don't want to go into too much detail because I have so many videos based on all these products, so I wanna keep it pretty snappy, pretty efficient. So, let's continue it. For cream bronzers, these two I cannot recommend more. I just cannot. The LYS No Limits Cream Bronzer, fantastic, fully pigmented, easy to blend, long-lasting, also very easy to work with. Equally easy to work with is the Rare Beauty Cream Bronzer. Not as many shades to choose from, but also very easy to blend on, long wearing, and just two of my absolute go-tos that I always replenish during the savings event. Continuing with cream bronzers, one that I always restock, always, I'm talking always, is the shade Intensity 2 and Intensity 1. They're the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate Duos. So this is Intensity 2. This is the cream highlighter, but the cream bronzer is right below it. I, I use both equally in terms of like, you know, I use the cream bronzer just as much as I use the cream highlighter. Fantastic formula. These are very, very pricey. They're $90 regular price. Yes, I said $90. So this is always, always the time that I repurchase and I restock my pro kit. This is not something that I use on myself personally. I love it. It's just not something that I grab. I grab these way more often for me personally. There's a lot of reasons behind that, but this is what I always keep and always use on my clients in my pro kit. It just is universally flattering, beautiful, works on every client, every model that sits in my chair. So I always restock these because I, I hate buying this full price. I hate it. So that's a restock item and something that I think is definitely worth your money. It's expensive, but take this time to save your money on it, to save some money on it at least. Keep it with bronzers. One of my favorite, favorite powder bronzer formulas goes to Fenty Beauty. These are both pulled from my Pro Kit. I keep at least four or five shades in my Pro Kit at all times. I can't remember the shades off the top of my head. It's a fantastic bronzer. I also use them on myself. I love them for myself. I also love these as just an eyeshadow. And if you know Fenty, they have the best and most broadest shade range available. There's a reason why I have these in my pro kit. They're just a fantastic formula. These are always an item that I pick up at least one or two that I'm running low on or that I've hit pan on that I want to replenish from my pro kit. So highly recommend these. Perfect bronzer powder formula for any skin type, any skin age. Next up in the powder category, Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Powders. So I get all three shades. I get the one, the two, and the three. I use these heavily in my pro kit and I rely on them heavily. So these are always a restock item for me because they just never disappoint. They're very smoothing on the skin. They look beautiful on and they work for all skin types. So I use this more as like a finishing powder, not necessarily to lock in makeup. It's more for touch-ups and fine tuning and skin smoothing. These come in great handy for those things. Now talk about essentials. My Givenchy powders, all the Prism Lee powders from Givenchy, these are a pricey powder. They are well worth the investment. I say they are absolutely worth your pennies. Trust me, these are some of the most top-notch powders, if not one of the most top-notch loose setting powders I've ever tried. There's a reason why I have every single shade in my pro kit, except for like the very first one, like the completely colorless white one. I don't carry that one in my pro kit, just to be honest. But number three and number five are the most heavily used in my pro kit. Those I always restock because I don't want to buy the full price. So during the Sephora savings event, whether it's in spring or fall, that's the time where I always pick these up because I run out of these very quickly in my pro kit because I use them on almost every single client that sits in my chair. Another power that I pick up during the savings event to save money on, for me personally, heavily, I use this powder a lot. You see it in so many of my tutorials. It's any of the shades from the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder Collection. Um, these two of them I'm holding right now are Peach Pie and Cherry Blossom. 
Cupcake is one of my all-time favorites. I am a ride or die for cupcake. I use that one on a regular basis for myself. I also keep cupcake and banana bread in my pro kit. Those are fantastic formulas that I use on so many of my clients. So I always restock my Huda Beauty powders. These are absolutely worth the investment. They are they will last you a long, long time. Like I use these on a daily basis, practically, between this and my Givenchy. And both last me a really long time. I have to say, I think the Huda lasts me a little bit longer in terms of like how many uses I get out of it. But either way, the Givenchy lasts a really long time as well. Those powders always get restocked. Always, always, always I restock those when I can save some money on them. Because again, it's, it's painful to buy the Givenchy full price because it is a luxury item and it has a luxury price tag. So keeping with the luxury price tag theme, I want to talk about some highlighters, okay? There are three highlighters that I think are absolutely worth every penny. Absolutely, positively, in my opinion, worth every penny. And they're the three that I recommend the most. Now, one you're not going to be surprised about, this is my number one highlighter. This travels with me everywhere I go. This is always in my makeup kit. In fact, I'm gonna pick up one more just to have as a backup during the Sephora savings event because it is Dior. Although this is not the most priciest uh, highlighter on the market at all and surprising for Dior and also surprising because you get a lot of value. Like you get four different shades. It is so universally flattering for almost all skin types because there's something in here for everyone. So I think for like a makeup artist perspective, this is such a must have and I talk about this a lot. So I know, don't, I, I'm sure I'm boring you because I know I bring this powder up, this powder highlighter up a lot, but it is absolutely an essential product. It's like a core key product in my makeup kit and also for me personally. So this I highly recommend. You will not regret this powder highlighter. I, I really promise you I'd be shocked if you picked this up and you were like, yeah, it's okay. Everyone that I recommend this to, loves it. So that one, always worth the money, always worth the splurge. Another one that I absolutely love is the House Labs Bio Radiant Gel. It's a powder highlighter. They come in a bunch of different shades. The shade Rose Quartz is just one that I recommend for so many people because no matter what your skin tone is, pretty much everyone can use this. So if you have deep skin tone, like a deep skin tone, you can use this as a beautiful soft pink highlighter. If you have really, really fair skin, this is going to look beautiful as a soft blush. So not even as a highlighter, just as a soft luminous blush. If you're my skin tone, a little bit lighter, a little bit deeper, this looks beautiful as a blush topper or just like a really natural, natural blush. So love the formula. The formula is a really beautiful, very smoothing formula. So if you have like larger pores or any skin texture, yes, it's highly shimmery, but it doesn't bring out or enhance or accentuate any texture or larger pores that you have. So don't be afraid of the shimmer. You could use it on like larger pore areas of your skin and on your face and it won't accentuate. It actually has a very beautiful smoothing effect to it. So it's one of the reasons why I highly recommend this one. The other one is kind of a funny joke at this point, okay? Because hear me out. So I bought this, when did I buy this? I bought this one, I tested out and bought every single highlighter that is sold at Sephora. This is the Tom Ford Highlighting Duo. It's in the shade Moonlight. So it's the shade and illuminate highlighting duo. This is $90. The only time I would recommend you picking it up, honestly, just full transparency, is when you could save some money on it. Like even if it's just the 10%, if it's 15%, if it's 20%, whatever tier you fall into, like, you know, for the Sephora VIB, like membership, I get 20% because I shop there constantly. But either way, save some money. If you're gonna, if you're interested in this palette or this highlighter, just, just get it during the savings event because you don't want to spend full price on this. You just don't. But I will say, wow, is this worth the money, okay? And I didn't think I was going to say this because if you watched my whole haul where I bought every single highlighter at Sephora, you probably saw my reaction to this was not that great. I was like, not that impressed. First impression was not great on this. And it took me putting it in my pro kit, using it on different faces, different skin types, different skin ages to really see the beauty in it. And I have a joke because Hung Van Gogh, who is an incredible artist, I'm sure you know of him. He's got a YouTube channel. I'll link it in this description. Him and I joke around because he, he saw that I wasn't impressed by this and he, apparently he's like a huge, huge fan of it. And we were joking around. He was like, oh my God, you're gonna you're gonna laugh so hard when you see like what my, my kit must haves are. It was like a video that he posted recently and this was in it. And this was like right after I had said I, I was not impressed by it in my uh, highlighter haul video. 
Anyway, long story short, it's been our biggest joke because now he sees me post about how much I love it. He's like, I told you. And I'm like, wow, you know, you were so right. And I, I don't know, I should have, I'm not surprised that he was right because he's got exquisite taste in makeup. So the Moonlight Highlighter from Tom Ford, Hong Van Gogh, you are absolutely, positively so right about this. It is a standout highlighter and it is a, an essential in my pro kit that I find myself pulling out every time I'm doing a makeup application. I find myself pulling it out of my kit to use. So pick it up, save money on it. Now is the time. Don't buy it full price. Just saying, just saying. It's worth it, but save money on it. Speaking of beautiful products, I always recommend these Patrick Ta. They're the Double Take Cream and Powder Blush Duos. Any of the shades are beautiful, any of them. I'm talking all of them. They're all gorgeous. These are the two newest ones that I picked up recently. It's the shade Not Too Much and Just Enough. I know that a lot of these are sold out. I don't believe that this one's sold out yet. It's the Just Enough shade. It's like a cool tone, bubblegum pink, very beautiful. And then the Not Too Much, I believe, is still sold out. A good um, alternative to this one is the shade She's So LA. I also have that one in my pro kit and I, I use that one heavily. They're both just very universally flattering, very neutral, everyday type shades. Like, depending on your skin tone, they could be either really, really natural or a little bit more like prominent on your skin tone. So, but the two shades themselves are very neutral in their tone. So they're just... They go with like any kind of eye makeup look, any kind of lip look. So I love them for that reason. And I always think if you're curious to try these, now is the time to do it so you could save money. By the way, this video is not sponsored. I just want to throw that out there. I know I've done quite a few sponsorships with Sephora in the past, which I'm so grateful for. I love working with Sephora and anyone, but this one is not. That's probably why this video is going to be so long because it's just, it's all of my core essential products that I buy and just am obsessed with. So let's keep this going because I have a lot more. Let's jump into setting sprays. And the two setting sprays that I use and love the absolute most and that I go through constantly in my pro kit are the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. This is the mini. The full size is in my kit. However, it's completely empty. I just tossed it. So I'm going to be definitely picking that up now. And then the one size On Till Dawn Mattifying Waterproof Setting Spray is a key and crucial item that I now never ever go to a makeup job without because this will like laminate your makeup on your face. Absolutely, positively worth every penny, both of these. You know what? Let's jump into eyeliners. Let's kind of switch it up from face to eyes. And I have a ton of favorite eyeliners, I really do. I have a lot that I use in my pro kit, but I will say the ones that I probably replenish the most, just keeping it really, really authentic, are the ones from Urban Decay, which I'm out of almost all of them. They're down to like these little tiny nubs, so there's no point showing them. I'll make sure I link them in the description box of this video. So all of the ones from Urban Decay, I forget the name, but I'll link them all in the description box. Those I always replenish during the savings event because they're amazing, very long wearing eyeliners. If you want something that's even more inexpensive that are long wearing and just like a really equal formula. The Sephora 12 hour eyeliners are phenomenal. The 12 hour wear eyeliners are phenomenal. So the shades I use the most, if I had to, they're all beautiful, but like these are like my most used shades. Coconut, no surprise. Black Ice for a long wearing black eyeliner. I keep that in my pro kit. Coco, Cappuccino, and Tiramisu. Those are my core eyeliners that I'm always restocking. And then the bonus too for the savings event at Sephora is all the Sephora brand products are 30% off to any tier. So it doesn't matter like what tier you fall into as, in terms of like your savings amount, everyone universally gets 30% off. So these are already really inexpensive then they're 30% off. So I, I always just stock up because I go through them and they're super cheap during the savings event. So I always pick them up. Another item or another eyeliner that I always pick up is another, a backup of my Fenty Beauty fly liner, but in the shade In Big Truffle. This is my favorite dark brown. It's actually more of like a caramel brown. I just want to show you in case you have missed this on my channel. It is the most beautiful, warm caramel brown. Long lasting, easy to work with, fantastic formula. Doesn't bleed, doesn't smear, doesn't run. I always pick up another one and I save money on it. So I always pick that up. And then keeping with like pencils. These pencils are probably the only pencils that I use in my pro kits on a daily basis. These are the ones that I grab always, okay? Probably no surprise, the Makeup Forever Artist Pencils. They're hard to come by. A lot of them are sold out. If you can get any of these shades while they're in stock, I highly recommend you do. They're worth every single penny. For me as a makeup artist, they're like 
one of the most trusted formulas that I know are going to just do their job. They're gonna stay put, they're gonna go on smoothie, they're gonna be very pigmented, they're gonna be easy to work with. And the shades though, the shades are what get me. The shades are just, they're so, they're all perfect, okay? But these are my top shades. My top shades are, probably no surprise, but Anywhere Caffeine, Wherever Walnut, Up and Down Tan, Universal Earth, I have a lot, and Limitless Brown. And also I use Endless Cacao, but I use Endless Cacao more as like an eyeliner for really fair clients, like fair blonde, very, very light skin clients. Endless Cacao is a beautiful soft eyeliner, especially on the top and the bottom. But these as my lip liners, they're holy grails. So I always restock these. And then another few liners that I always restock because I do go through them really, really quickly are from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I do love this formula. It can feel a little bit more dry on some lips <laughs> that I encounter in my day-to-day -day, like work, but I do love the formula and I do make sure that if I have a client has really dry lips, like especially dry lips, A, I always prep their lips, but if they have really, really dry lips, I sometimes avoid this liner because it doesn't go on as smooth as I would hope it to, but I still love it. I still go for these liners. I still restock them because the shades and the wear time are phenomenal. My two favorite shades are hazelnut and deep taupe. I use these probably more than I use any other shade from Anastasia Beverly Hills. So I definitely replenish these. Let's keep it going because I have a lot more in front of me. Um, an item that you might not, or two powders I should say, that you might not expect to be my core items are these. They're from Kosas, but these are from my personal use. I don't use these in my pro kit, but they become core items for me in my day-to-day -day life when I'm just doing a quick makeup look. The Sun Show bronzer in the shade Waves or any of the shades are beautiful. They're luminous, they're gorgeous on the skin. They give you a soft glow with while warming up your skin. I love these. And then also the Cloud Set powders. When I'm in a hurry, I just want a quick way to lightly set my makeup and just smooth my skin and fine tune it. The Cloud Set powders are really fantastic. And I do go through these actually pretty quickly. This is a newer one, but I hit pan on these like, very quick because I use them a lot. So I usually restock those when I can and when I can save money on them. Another item that I always restock for my personal use, I don't use this in my pro kit, but for my personal use, I absolutely love, this probably is my favorite tinted moisturizer that I've ever tried and that's on the market. It's the Tower 28 Sunny Days Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Tinted Sunscreen. I just love this formula. It looks beautiful, it looks healthy. It's very long wearing for a tinted moisturizer. It doesn't get patchy. The formula is very smooth on. It just checks every single box that I think is important for a tinted moisturizer. So I really recommend this one. A newer item that I plan on restocking for myself personally, not for my pro kit, but for me personally, are the Fenty Beauty Eavesdrop Tint Sticks. So they, they are blurring, they're smoothing, they give great coverage, they're very long wearing, and they're incredibly easy to work with. So. If you're, if you're a girl or a guy on the go and you want just like easy swipe on, blend out coverage, highly recommend you check these out and get them now if you're curious about them and save money. I hope you have a snack. I hope you have some tea or a coffee because we still have more ahead of us, believe it or not. I'm gonna get into some complexion stuff and some foundations, but I wanna start off with just showing you an item that I always, always, I have every single shade in my pro kit but I have all the minis because the weight of the full size is not okay. It's just not okay. Like they are so big, the full size, and they weigh a ton. Yes, could I depot them? Totally. Am I going to do that? No, I'm not. So I'd rather just buy the minis. I know it's not the most cost efficient because of what you get, but just gotta be honest with you, I restock these every single time and they're amazing. The size is compact, it's small, it's great for me as a makeup artist because I can have all the shades that I need, but in a much smaller compact form without having to depot and do all that messy stuff that I'm just not into. I also use this size on myself and I keep this in my makeup bag on the go and it's just really convenient. So the Hollywood Flawless Filter from Charlotte Tilbury, if you have not heard me talk about it, this is an absolute core item that I will always replenish and always buy. So highly recommend if you're gonna pick it up, pick it up and save because they're not cheap. Let's go to my two, I'm gonna keep the foundations short and sweet, okay? There's a reason for that because I have another video coming up very soon about foundations. So I wanna keep this short and sweet and I wanna just be honest, the two foundations that I replenish every single time the Sephora savings event comes around are the Armani Luminous Silk. 
I buy the minis from my kit and I buy the full size from myself, usually if I'm feeling fancy. This one is mine, it's the 5.75. This shade works perfect for me. And then in my pro kit, I also always, always end up picking up more of my Dior Backstage Face and Body. These are my most used and trusted foundations that I keep professionally and that I use professionally on my clients. So I try not to buy them full price because it hurts and it hurts my wallet. So I always pick these up and I replenish the ones and my most used shades in my pro kit during the savings event. So these two, they have you covered. Now let's go on to concealer. Let's move on to concealer because I wanna talk about three concealers Actually, if I'm being honest, four concealers, okay? Now, the one I use in my kit, my pro kit the most, is the NARS Radiant Creamy. I'm I'm gonna keep this short and sweet. This is a universally amazing concealer. It works for all skin types, skin ages. I love the undertones that they have in this concealer. It works so, so well in my pro kit. And it's one of my most trusted concealers. Also, one of the most trusted concealers in my pro kit is the Hourglass Vanish Concealer. I didn't grab it to show you in this video, I kind of forgot, but two that I wanna share that are my favorite for me personally at the moment are the Fenty Beauty We're Even Concealer. This is a shockingly amazing concealer. I think the coverage is beautiful. The way it sits on your skin is absolutely beautiful. Another newer one is the House Labs Triclone Skin Tech Concealer. Love, love these two formulas. Highly recommend you check them out and save money while you can. And then a newer favorite, that is in my pro kit and I just picked one up for myself as well in the shade 5N is the Natasha Denona High Glam Concealer. It's actually the concealer that I have under my eyes right now. Phenomenal formula. If you can find a shade that works for you, that's gonna be great. And I say that because they're always sold out. So lots of the shades are sold out or they have been over the last like six months since I've been trying to pick up some more like neutral shades for my kit. But if you can get it, get it now while it's on sale because it's a fantastic formula. Another product I want to talk about that I highly recommend if you're going to check it out, if you're going to pick it up, is the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Color Correctors. Any of the shades are fantastic. It just depends on what shade you need for your skin type or your skin tone, I should say. Excuse me. But the shade that I've been using the most for myself is Cherry Blossom. I'm going to pick up another Cherry Blossom because I'm, I'm running low. I've been using it almost on a daily basis when I have time. And it is a fantastic formula because it gives you a nice smooth effect underneath your regular concealer. And the coverage is nice, actually gives you a great amount of coverage. It's just like the Faux Filter Concealer, which I was gonna mention in this video, but I wanna put too many concealers in this video. I want to keep it like pretty, pretty uh, precise, right? But this formula, highly recommend if you're interested in a color corrector or you need to, or you wanna utilize one, going forward, pick this one up and try it out and save some money while you can. Let's talk about mascara. These two, high end, uh, if you know me, you know I'm a drugstore mascara girly. I love my drugstore mascaras. I think they're the some of the best mascaras on the market. However, if I had to pick two high end mascaras that are worth your money and worth checking out, especially right now, it'd be these two. This was a recommendation from my friend Lisa J. She uses this on a regular basis. Her lashes are always phenomenal. If you know, you know. Lisa J has amazing lashes. So I'm gonna pick up a backup of the Dior. It is the Dior Show Maximizer 3D. It's a triple action lash primer serum. It gives you volume, curl, definition, but it also conditions your lashes. This has been a staple for me. And then of course, the YSL Lash Clash Mascara. You just can't go wrong with this mascara. If you want full on, drama, volume, and everything, like thickness, length, all of it, get this mascara. It is definitely worth the money and the price tag. Okay, we're nearing the end of sharing my core essential items that I think are worth that worth your money and worth picking up during the Sephora savings event. Okay, let's dive into blushes because when I think of like the key blushes that I use on myself personally and also especially in my pro kit, these are them. These are them. It's not that many, okay? And they're actually all creams. The, the cream blushes I rely on the most in my pro kit are by far the Fenty Beauty, the Westman Atelier, and of course the Rare Beauty Soft Pinch. Is that what they're called? I always forget. I think they're the Soft Pinch blushes, the liquid blushes. These are like my core essential in terms of the shades that I use and the formulas. These formulas are my absolute ride or dies. And I always restock these. I especially find myself restocking the Westman Atelier because they're so expensive full price. So I always take the time to buy them at a discount and save some money. And these, I probably only replenish once a year because they last so long. And it's usually the time of year where I pick up just an additional shade or two that I had my eye on that I've been wanting to try for my pro kit. But this formula will last you 
almost e eternity. They're just, they're so pigmented and you need like the tiniest bit. But these in my Pro Kit are an absolute must. And then the Fenty Beauty, I do replenish these pretty often, like more often than the Rare Beauty, I would say, because they're a little bit smaller. And I do use the absolute heck out of these, especially this shade, the shade Rose Latte is probably my number one used shade from Fenty Beauty in my Pro Kit. And then Cool Berry, an absolute staple. And then my newest favorite that I have also in my Pro Kit is Riri. Riri is just, it's just so beautiful. They're just, they're an amazing formula. I think they're good for all skin types. Even if you have really oily skin, I always recommend the Fenty Beauty cream blushes and also the LYS No Limits cream blush. That is a great one for oily skin as well, but not to go on a separate rant. So let's keep it to what I'm recommending for the sale. And let me share some eyeshadows, okay? These are like my core eyeshadow palettes. I don't need to replenish them, but I would just say, I wanna suggest them in case you need an eyeshadow palette or two, and you wanna pick up what you think is like, or what I think is the best of the best and save money on it during the Sephora savings event. That's where these come into play. So probably no surprise, both now, the Makeup by Mario Master Mattes palette. I find that the neutrals is just as essential now as the, uh, the original one. I'll show you both just in case you haven't seen them. I'm sure you have by now. But this is the original, very warm tone, very beautiful, heavily used in my Pro Kit, probably on a regular basis with every single client I pulled this out. So this one now I've been finding myself creating so many looks with it. I've been just loving this palette and I actually plan on picking up another one just cause it's easy and I want another one for myself now for my own personal use cause this one went straight into my makeup kit when I originally bought it. So. I think if you are looking for one or two eyeshadows or just one palette that has every single kind of matte neutral you would possibly need, either of these, even though one is more neutral than the other, I think either of these are an incredible buy and just absolutely worth the investment because you'll get so much use out of these, I promise. They might look a little simple, maybe a little boring because there's no shimmers, but they are, trust me, just absolute core essentials and you will find yourself using one or the other probably on a daily basis if you pick them up. Okay, the next palette that is like a core palette that I think is so worth checking out and picking up and saving money on while you can, probably no surprise, I had to mention it. This is such an outstandingly beautiful palette in every single way, formula, shades, color story, the way they, the pigment, everything about this palette is worth your money but get it now and save money if you're gonna pick it up. Do you need it? No. If you get it, you're gonna love it and you're not gonna regret it, basically, is what I'm trying to say. So do you need any of these products? Of course not, but if you're at this video, if you're watching it, then you're clearly wanting to shop. So these are what I think are worth your money. And this palette is so worth your money. It's the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude Palette. Mine is heavily used, worth every penny. It's filled with shimmers, mattes. You can create the most gorgeous, looks with this palette. It is so stunning on, so worth checking out. Okay, I have two last products. One is the glosses from Fenty Beauty, the gloss bombs from this brand, any shades. They're all beautiful. They are so heavily used in my makeup kit, my pro kit. These are like my number one, well, these are my number one glosses I use on my clients in my pro kit. So fantastic formula, pick them up while you can save. This is always the time I pick up some additional shades or I pick up backups. This one is my my favorite and probably my most my most used by far in my Pro Kit. It's the shade Sweet Mouth. You cannot go wrong with this shade. Any of the shades though from Fenty Beauty in this formula are top notch. Some of the most beautiful and best formula glosses I've ever tried. There's a reason why I always have these in my Pro Kit. So I plan on picking up more of these and this is just an item that I always restock when I can and when I can save money on them during this time. So. Last but not least, last product is a new favorite that has quickly become an absolute core essential item for me. I'm picking up a full size to put in my Pro Kit. That's how much I love it. I'm also gonna pick up another one from myself. It's the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze Gel. If you want your brows to be laminated up to here, this will do it. If you want your brows just to be perfectly placed where you want them and to stay put through thick and thin, this will do it. So no matter what you're going for a brow style, this will keep your brows in place all day long. And it's not like crunchy, crunchy. It's not flaky. It's not any of those things. It is a fantastic formula with a fantastic brush. So that wraps up this video. These are my core essential items that I plan on restocking and that I always restock during the Sephora savings event. But even not during the Sephora savings event, think of this as like a nice guide that you can come back to whenever you need some solid, 
hard hitting, great recommendations on products that are just worth the money. These are them. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. Let me know in the comments, what do you plan on restocking during the Sephora savings event or just in general? If you're a makeup artist out there, let me know what you plan on restocking in your pro kit. I would love to hear that. Thank you so much for watching. If you like videos like this, I have more. You can check them out right here. If you haven't subscribed, I would love to have you. You can definitely subscribe to my channel so I can see you more often and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.